welcome back to my channel we are still on the matter of what Cameroonians are doing to fellow Cameroonians here in China so since 2019 the coronavirus outbreak so many people have lost their jobs so many people are jobless and people are searching for a job and some people are using this as an advantage to be sleeping with with girls so i have a friend she's a cameroonian she was dating a guy one guy she didn't know that guy that guy is married so she asked the guy to she asked a guy for a job before dating the guy she needed a job so the guy tells her that she has to sleep with her he has to sleep with her first before giving her a job so as desperate as she could or she was she accepted because she has been for long without a job so she accepted to sleep with the guy when she slept with the guy and the guy got get got her a job and she started working and without her knowing that this guy is cutting her money that is what some cameroonians are doing here in china when they give you when they gave you a job they make sure that they are cutting your money every month every month they cut your money is that not slavery is that not wickedness so this girl this guy is going down with her then he's cutting her money so when this girl realized it she asked this guy why are you doing this why are you going down with me then you are cutting my money why instead of you encouraging me to work hard you are instead dragging me down why so this guy got upset and the guy went to the school to to, to tell the principal or the boss to stop the girl from coming to the school the, but they, they they she didn't meet he didn't meet the the owner of the school the boss so when he, the boy went back home he started messaging the boss he, he started sending the boss messages so you know there's one thing with these people they don't keep secret when they like you they like you they don't keep secret so this girl went to school the next day and her boss called her and said what do you have with this guy your agent what do you have with her with him and the girl said no i don't have so the lady showed you know the most of our bosses here in china they are they are they are women so the lady showed this girl she showed her this is this was this, let me say this is a conversation between me and your agent so this is what he said about you and this girl was like are you for real and the lady said yes the guy said all sorts of things about this girl the guy said that this girl is not a good teacher that he can look for a good teacher and he said all sorts of things bad things about this girl that the girl is not what uh, she says she is that she's from a poor country that where she came from and uh, her country is just like i don't know a bush country that's what the guy said about the gay this guy said all sorts of things about the gay but the school already already like the girl the teachers loves her the, the boss loves her this the, the kids everybody just loves the girl and the the, the boss said you are not going to go anywhere you are not going anywhere you are going to be here because everybody in this school loves you so you won't go anywhere you are going to be here but what i'm going to what i'm about to tell you now or what i'm going to tell you now is that you should be very careful with this guy you call your boss you should uh, yeah yeah agent you should be very careful with him so you can see what other Cameroonians are doing to others. Though when you ask them for a job, you know, so there are some people here who have been here. There are some Cameroonians who have been here for about only God knows how many years. Some of them they have been here for about ten years, fifteen years, twenty years. Some of them have been here for long. 
so they know how to get a job for people so they have been here for long they know how to get a job for people so when you meet them and you let me see you meet them like a brother or sister oh please i need a job can you please help me get a job they will just take it like an advantage to to be sleeping with you and the thing is that they are not single men or they are not single guys all of them they are married men they have kids and wives at home but they are still out there searching for for for, for another another girl or they are, they are out there like a lion looking for a, for for for, a, for an animal to devour can you imagine what people are doing they will get you a job but they will still cut your money and you still want to be sleeping with you but that's not what a chinese agent they are doing a chinese agent once he or she get a chinese agent once he or she gets you a job he or she they will ask you that they'll just tell you that okay this is a job I'll get you a job or this is a job but you are going to pay me you're going to pay me 1000 or 2000 some of them will say okay this is a job they pay 10,000 your first month you are going to pay my agent fee 3000 then 7000 is yours then they will pay your money directly to you but in Cameroonian agent no they call themselves agents no they don't do like that they don't work like that your money they have to pay your money through them then before paying you then they will get a job for you they'll they will ask you to give them how do you call it you know give me one beer for day they'll ask you to give them beer meanwhile they are cutting your money your money have to pass through them if they are paying you ten thousand they will tell you that they are paying you eight thousand they are cutting two thousand the things according to them the things that they are doing you a favor meanwhile you are the one working the money they will just sit at home then they'll be cutting your money every month is that not slavery is that not selfishness we all left our country and come here for hustle but some people don't want to help some people you can't grow past me ha Mama, me you can't get money past me. But there have been years, some of them have been here for over 10, 15, 20 years. They have not seen the color of money that they are looking for. They have not seen it. Like seriously, they have not seen the color of money that they are looking for. I hope so. Too bad. I'm having about how many friends they are complaining. Girls, they are complaining. They are telling me some of them have been here for five six years they are telling me and they, they are telling me the, 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 the name of the people please don't i don't don't you ever ask this person a job he wants to sleep with you before giving you a job please don't ever ask this person for a job you they are telling me every day so i don't know i don't know what they are they are, they are gaining by doing all this you want to back, blackmail your sister or your brother if you are a guy they want to blackmail you because you don't you don't work according to it to, to you don't work according to what they want they want to blackmail you for them to for, for, for you to leave the school so they will look for another man that they'll be manipulating which is not fair which is not fair not to talk of document issue not to talk of document issue what they are doing to fellow Cameroonian about document issue that is a story for another day that is a topic for another day it is not it is not fair it is not fair what we are doing to ourselves it's not fair we should try and change we should try and change we should be helping one another it's not fair there's too much heat now it's summer there's too much heat there's too much heat it is not fair at all it's not fair we should try and and be helping one another we should try and be happy okay le, le, now i'm having a job a cameroon guy gave me a job he since he gave me the job since about how many months today he hasn't asked me for anything i just met the guy one day at the bus stop and i said please uh, i need a job back then I, I was having just one job one hour a week and i said please i need a job i don't know if you can help me get a job and he said, oh, really? Which country are you from? And I said, I'm from Cameroon. He said, hey, Napezan, I beg, give me a WeChat. 
and I gave him my WeChat. So we started talking, and he said, "Okay, I don't get my full time job, oh. so my part time day we are not free meet up. So if you go take her, I said for what site?" And he sent me the location. When I get the, when I got there, thank God the teacher, they are, they are very friendly, kindly. So that's how I got the job, and I'm still there to it today. It is a part time job, but I'm still there to it today. I called him last morning and I said, Where bros? I began for for Rovi, where are you smoking? I said, No, nobody is safe. We are from Cameroon. We are from one country. So you can just just continue. I know we left our country is not okay. So we left our country to uh, come here to hustle. So if you can hustle that one and even help your uh, parents back home there, it's okay. And I said, Oh bros, thank you. And he said, No, don't bo don't bother. Anytime you have anything, you can you can wire it to me, you can give me. You know, you just it's not it's just it's just good to help one another. I don't know where I can meet you and I can be of help. You may help me or you may help my children or your children may help my children or your family member may help mine. I don't know. But some Cameroonians don't reason like that. They don't. They have same self center. They know that as they have it today, they will have it like that forever, which is not good. Please, we should try and change. So guys, I will end here for today. Um, I want to go to work. <laughs> I was on break. My break is over. I'm even late for five minutes. So I want to go to work. I will see you guys next time in my video. If you are not yet subscribed, please hurry up, hit the subscribe button, like, share, comment, and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. To my amazing subscriber, I appreciate you all so much. Your pocket shall never run dry in Jesus' name. Amen. So guys, see you in my next video till we meet again. Catch up. I love you all guys.